Central Square, John Jr. and Jones. From out of this world, Joe Alaski. From different strokes, Gary Coleman. From the Northwest Corner, Jim J. Bullock. From the San Diego Zoo, Joan Emery. From Who's the Boss, Alyssa Milano and Danny Pintaro. From Pure Girls, Tracy, Brandy and Missy. From Fan Club, Mitch Gaylord. <laughs> we are the new Holiday Hollywood Square. And here's that host, Don Stevenson. Thank you, Shadow Stevens. Thank you, studio audience, and Merry Christmas to everybody at home. We hope you're sitting around the tree, maybe, uh, whatever time of day we're on in your town, opening presents and getting together with your family. That's what this time is all about. Hello, squares. Hi. Hi. Speaking of family, my son, John Jr., I was so proud of you yesterday. John, you, you did such a great job hosting the show. It was a pleasure doing the show. Thank you. Yeah. He was wonderful, and my daughter Melissa was on. Yes, she was great, we too. we all know how rich you are, John, so I was hoping that you met Melissa. On my left, Becky Patson. Everybody say hi, Becky. Hi, hi Becky. Becky. Hi, Becky. You're so cute. Tell the stars, um, what, what did you want for Christmas, and did you get it? I want a drum set. Did you get it? Yes. Good. All right. <laughs> Well, good luck. On my right, Scott Ferguson. Welcome, Scott. Hi. What did you want for Christmas? Um, my own color TV set. Your own color TV? That's a lot of money. Did you get it? Yep. Good. <laughs> good luck on the show. The object of the game is to simply win tic-tac-toe. Three squares across, down or diagonally, or acquire as many squares as you can. Our first game will be worth $100 in cash if you can win it. Wouldn't that be nice? $100 in cash? Then after that, $200 in cash. And whoever wins the most money at the end of the show will have a chance to win what's behind one of these doors, one of these beautiful displays. Ooh. Don't they look nice? <laughs> Lots of toys and new stuff for Christmas. We flipped a coin backstage. Scott, you won the toss. Pick a square. Let's get started. Uh, John Jr. and Joan. Our center square. John Jr. and Joan. Yes, sir. Recently, what famous person made news by returning to the Soviet Union for the first time in 26 I know. years? I know. Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I do know this. You know everything. Yes, I do, because well, I read. Give it to him. Maybe give it you to think him, you know it. What is it? I think I know it, but I think I do know it. He's a dancer, and he defected 26 years ago. Oh, Brezhnikov. No, Brezhnikov. No, no Nureyev. They're Nureyev. saying Nureyev, Rudolf Nureyev. Scott, what do you think? I'll agree. X gets the square. You defected in 61. Very nice. Becky, pick a square. Jim J. Bullock. Jim hey. Jackson. Hey. Merry Christmas. Jim, you're such a good singer as well as a funny guy. It's Christmas Day. What about Jingle Bell Rock? Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle Bell Swing and Jingle Bell Ring. Snowing and blowing up for shows of fun. That's the Jingle Bell. That's the Jingle Bell. That's the Jingle Bell Rock. Jim. Merry Christmas, John. Merry Christmas. Merry Jim. Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 and ho, ho, barrels of fun. I can't wait to get home and open my presents. I hate working on Christmas Day. Do you ever speak, <laughs> do you know how to speak Spanish at all? Just... Jim. Sure. Buenos tardes, dos todos, familia. Let's see how you do on this. How do you tell someone Merry Christmas in Spanish? Oh, uh, Johnny, that's an easy one. And Becky, you got to go with me on this one. Feliz Navidad. Becky, what do you think? I disagree. No. Oh. Becky, come here. Come here, Becky. No, no, you stay. Don't you hurt her. Don't you touch her. Becky, uh, uh, X gets a square. Feliz Navidad. Yes, he knows how to speak Spanish. Scott, pick a square. Joan Embry for the Joan win. Joan Embry from the San Diego Zoo. Joan, is that a Christmas gift that you have there? No, I would never give him up. He is a very special animal from the zoo. He's a black and white ruffed lemur, and they're from the island of Madagascar. They're a primitive primate, or prosimian. He's beautiful. Isn't he? From some angles, he looks like a skunk, but no, that's not... No, actually a primate. All and right. They, and they eat fruit. Okay, this has to do with lemur. Uh, automobile manufacturers have always been fascinated with the idea of naming cars after animals, you know. A Lincoln Mercury has the lynx and the bobcat and the cougar and the mustang. You certainly heard about those, but do they have a lemur? No, I don't think so. I've never heard of a lemur car. She says no, Scott. Let me remind you, this would be for the win. She says no. What do you think? 
I'll agree. She's a rat's right. The X gets the square. The answer is no. $100. Audience, help me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Congratulations, Scott. We'll be right back. Secret Square game is next. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. our secret square game and the player who chooses that could win this shadow steven well it's a trip to walt disney world john yes reply you and your parents from los angeles aboard delta airlines with standard and wide body service you may visit their exclusive crown room lounge experience warm and friendly hospitality and flight furnished by delta airlines and you'll enjoy a six night seven day stay at the beautiful viscount walt disney world village hotel Offering complimentary special services, luxury accommodations, and fine dining furnished by Trust House Fort Hotel. Thank you, Shadow Stevens. Let's reveal our secret square to our home audience only. Becky, you have to catch up. Pick a square. John Jr. and Jones. That's a good way to start. Whoa! Oh! Yeah. Our secret square. All right. This is for go. that trip to Walt Disney World oh. in Florida. Have you ever been there, Becky? Hello. It sounds wonderful. You've been there? Well, you could go back and do it again. Question is, who was the first president to live in the White House? Was it George Washington, our first president, John Adams, or Thomas Jefferson? On George Washington? No, it was not Washington. No? No, that much I know. Um, we didn't have a White House then. Um, I would say, this is just a guess, Thomas Jefferson. I wouldn't know. Becky, a trip Thomas to Jefferson. Walt Disney World. She says Thomas Jefferson. Just what do you guess. think? Just a guess. I disagree. Pack your bags. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's John Adams. It's Adams. You're on the right track. Scott, pick a square. Jim J. Bullock. Jim oh, Jackson Scott. Bullock. Merry Christmas, Scott. Jim, yes, John. When Christopher Columbus set out for the New World, uh -huh. he commanded three ships: uh -huh. the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa something. Speaking of Christmas, the Santa what? No help from our audience. The Santa Claus. <laughs> Thank you, Mitch, for that joke. <laughs> the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa something. The Santa Maria. Scott, what do you think? I'll agree. X Thank you, Scott. Square. Very nice. Yeah. Becky Katzen, pick a square. Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman from Different Strokes and from a lot of other good shows. Hi, Gary. Hello. I have an album up here that somebody gave me in my Christmas stocking. It's called The Outlaw and the Indian. That's and right. On this record, there's love songs sung by the outlaw or by the Indian, and you're the outlaw, and you do rap against the beautiful songs, and it's a very interesting album, Ooh. and it's very thin. Here's the question for you. Before a skunk sprays, Gary, you know skunks spray you, it does two things. It hisses or growls, and then what? Raises his tail. Raises his tail. Becky, what do you think? I'll agree. Stamps its front feet. X gets the square. Stamps its feet, and then he sprays you. Mm. Scott, pick a square. Alyssa Milano and Danny P Yes, from Who's the Boss? Alyssa and Danny. Guys, gang, take a look behind me. We have a simple math question for you. We're going to superimpose this on the screen back. We have something new on the Hollywood screen. In this division problem, you see 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Question is, which number is the dividend? The 6? They say the 6. Scott, what do you think this would be for? The win. What's the problem? Well, you have 24 divided by 6 equals 4. I said, which is the dividend? And they said it is the 6. What do you think? I'll agree. All right. Let's go back to the screen above me and let's see the answer. It's the 24. The 6 is the divisor. So uh, circle and get the square and you blocked yourself. Becky, pick a square. He helped you out there. He helped you along. Tracy Brown. The Brandy Gold and Sisters, Tracy, Brandy, and Missy. <laughs> Girls, this will be for the win. 
When you were born, your father gave each of you 23 chromosomes. Did you know that? Your father, Harry Gold, the famous manager and agent and all. How many did your mother give you? How many chromosomes? Oh, we have four. We have four, right? No. no. Think Notice how Tracy usually does the talking. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. So she's... Wait, what? Just, I think, I know you, I think it's 24. I think. All right, we're going to say 24. In other words, she gave one more than your father, is what you're saying, right? Right. Uh, Becky, what do you think? This is before the win. I disagree. Good. It's 23 for a grand total of 46. Circle gets the square. Becky, you're doing great. It's a tie. We have a tie. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Merry Christmas. Welcome back. You know, we want to thank John Brady and Mike Braga of Lionel Trains. Guys, would you stand up and take a bow? Thank you. These beautiful Lionel Trains have been with us all week. And boy, are they fun. And they've worked so well. In case we don't get to complete our last game, at the sound of the bells, we'll finish that question. Each X and O on the board will be worth $50. We have a tie. Let's solve that. Pick a square, Scott. Your turn. John Jr. and Joan. You're starting in the center. That's a good way to start. Okay, here you go. John, you know where we ought to be on New Year's Eve? You and I ought to go to the yeah. Diplomat Hotel in Hollywood, Florida, because that's where Joan Rivers is going to be performing. Great. Hey, great. Be, let's do it. We My can steal treat, some guys. Jokes. Your treat? My treat. Sure, right. <laughs> Here's a question. As a child, Joan and John, Charles Lindbergh had a horrible fear of something. What was it? Airline food. Uh, <laughs> um, I'd say fear, fear of heights. Dad, I'd say fear of heights. Fear of heights. I'll go along with that. that. Fear yeah. of heights. You both agree? Sure. Scott, do you agree with that? I'll agree. That's what was funny about it. It was a fear of heights. X gets a square. He of course went on to fly a lot of places, set lots of records. Becky, pick a square. Jim J. Bullock. Jim J. Bullock must be one of your favorite people. Jim J. on the first day of Christmas, her true love sent to her a partridge in a pear tree. I remember that. What did he send her on the second day of Christmas? Partridge food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the second day of Christmas? The second day oh, of Christmas, second day. my true love sent five, to me. Oh, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, two turtle doves. Becky says two turtle doves. What do you think? I agree. Circle gets a square, two turtle doves. Scott, pick a square. We still have a tie. Mitch Gaylord. Mitch Gaylord from Fan Club. Her, her, her. Syndicated celebrity show. Mitch, collegiate football has bowl games all over the country. Uh -huh. We've been watching them through the season. We're looking forward to the Rose Bowl on New Year's Day. Pasadena has the Rose Bowl, of course. Miami has the Orange Bowl. What does Fresno have? Uh, Fresno has a bowl. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure, but I think it's the Fiesta Bowl. I think. Scott, what do you think is as a Fiesta Bowl? I'll disagree. The good for you, the California good Bowl. Job, X gets a square. <laughs> Becky, pick a square. Shadow Stevens. Shadow the Stevens. The best voice on television. Merry Christmas, Shadow. Merry Christmas to you, John. What did you get for Christmas? Uh, everything I could ever want and more. I'm sure. Shadow, photosynthesis <laughs> is... Well it's said. True. Photosynthesis it's true. Is, is the process by which a plant manufactures something. Manufactures what, Shadow? John, <laughs> this has, has to do with light and water. The transposition of the light and water interactive process ooh. has to do with a moisture content, moisture, ooh. which has to do with <laughs> what the plant does with the light and producing water. So we're going to have to go with Moisture. Becky, water. this is for the block. Do you agree with that? I disagree. Good for you. It's food. <laughs> it's essential to life of the plant. Food. Circle gets a square. You have the block. Scott, pick a square. Alyssa Milano and Danny Pintor. Yes, Alyssa and Danny from Who's the Boss? Alyssa, is dork in the dictionary? <laughs> He's in my algebra class. Alyssa, <laughs> <laughs> he's a real dork. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll say yeah. She says yeah. Scott, what do you think? I'll disagree. No, it is in the dictionary. Someone who's stupid or inept. Circle gets the square. Becky helped you out. What are you going to do? Gary Coleman. Gary for the Coleman win. for the win. Gary, Gary, Gary. Go, go, go. I 
I'm here to serve you. Yes, oh good. Benedict Arnold, Gary, the Revolutionary War's most famous traitor, actually got caught trying to surrender something to the British. Trying to surrender what? Uh, Lake Potomac. Lake Potomac. Becky, for the win, what do you think? I disagree. Circle gets a square. The Military Academy at West Point. Very nice. That game was worth $200. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 200, and I and I forgot to give you $100 from before when you won. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We have time for a fourth game. Scott, pick a square. John Jr. and John Joan. John Jr. and Joan are center squares. John and Joan, the world book describes it as an opening through which hot gases and rock fragments burst forth. What are they describing? Congress. <laughs> Teenager does jokes. But wouldn't that be, be, be the mouth of a volcano? I say a meteor shower. A meteor shower? Yeah. Why don't we go? Well, let's, he's your son, and it's Christmas, so. It's not my responsibility. I'm yes, just going. Yes, it is. Uh, you say volcano or meteor shower? Which are you going to go? Well, let's go with John Jr. We'll say a meteor shower. You Scott. guys, it's Jay. Scott, meteor shower. They say that this will be our last question. Uh, they say meteor shower. Scott, what do you think? I'll disagree. Good, it's a volcano. Joan was right. All right. X gets the square. Well, I see by the tote board that I owe you $50, Scott, because you have won $150. Our reigning champion, though, for today is Becky Katzen with $300. Congratulations. You already have your $300. Scott, you already have $100, and I'll give you $50 more. Count them out. $10. 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars, a grand total of 150. Thank you, Scott, for being on the show. I have a bowl here, Becky. You watch the show. You've seen this bowl before. Not only have you won $300, but you have that trip to Walt Disney World. Be sure and see Epcot when you're there. It's the most educational, wonderful thing we have in America. Pick a key. Now, which display would you try to open the door to? The total video system. How about the whole learning center? The outdoor sports equipment or the $2,000 Sears gift certificate. Becky, you've got so much money. What are you going to try to go for now? The trio of music. The trio of music. Okay. We'll be right back. The trio of music and Betty and her, Becky and her good luck celebrity. Stay with us. Back. Becky has chosen all our celebrities as her good luck celebrities and this beautiful prize package called the Trio of Music. Shadow, what is it? Well, Schaefer and Sons five-piece drum set complete with double strap hardware and foot pedal. You may, you may choose from a variety of colors and Schaefer and Sons bass guitar with double single pickup adjustable tunable bridge, 51 RMS amplifier, three-tone control, headphone speaker and line output and Schaefer and Sons portable keyboard features Advanced electronic technology. You may create your own music with a variety of instrumental sounds, rhythms, and effects with Music Rack, all furnished by Schaefer and Sons. Oh, Shadow, the way you say things. Good luck. On the count of three, audience and stars, help her out. Put the, the keys in. Don't turn it until we say three. One, One two, three. You didn't win this prize package, but no one goes away from the Hollywood Squares without something. Shadow, what do we have for this young lady? Well, Skyway's street scene freestyle bicycles featuring six-foot tuck wheels and Spin Master, two built in the USA, furnished by Skyway Recreation Products. And she got the drums for Christmas anyway, right? Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Hope you'll we'll see you on New Year's. Bye-bye from the all-new Hollywood Squares. Join us on Monday when our guests will be from the center square, the one and only Elf. From TV State Elsewhere, Ed Begley Jr. From Glamour and the Screen, Princess Gaza Gabor. From NBC, it's President Brendan Tartikoff. From television comedy, Jim J. Bullock. From Dynasty, Emma Sands. From the Will Schreiner Show, Will Schreiner.
From the backs of life, Jim Fields. And me, I'm Scott o. Stevens. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Happy 1988. Some of our departing contestants will receive the following edge. Shaving gel, the six lubricant defense against razor irritation. And from Walt Disney Home Video, one of the most beloved animated classics, Lady and the Tramp. Now available for the first time on video cassette. Absolutely irresistible. And dry skin can be sensitive skin. So now there's new fragrance-free Corel. Most women agree. Corel ends dry skin. And wrinkle-free brand fabric relaxes and removes wrinkles from clothing without ironing. Wrinkle-free, the little iron in a can. <laughs> <laughs> Experience the many traditions of this holiday season on Christmas World, tomorrow afternoon at 3. Entertainment Tonight follows next. Merry Christmas from all of us at TV 11. <laughs>